What's good, YouTube? Right now, as promised, um, I told Holly that I would explain this dragon dream. I was in the live she had, and one of the guys had commented, I think his name was Arthur, he had mentioned something about the dragon and the purpose of the dragon, but I'm just going to tell you about the dream. Um, and once again, I told y'all, these dreams are, you are in other realms. It's not just a dream. They told you that it was a dream, but you are actually there when you are sleeping. So, um, I was on this construction site, all right? I was on this construction site. Um, it, it almost looked like I was where a, an old steel mill might have been present because it had the house conveyor belt where the conveyor belt was surrounded by a house. Not a house, but it was covered. So, when everything is going up the conveyor, nothing can get wet. Okay, so I was on this construction site, and down in the field of the dirt field, it was like uh, a river. It was like a river, almost like this construction site was flooded by water, and I was walking through the field, and I was walking through the water, the shallow part of it, and I saw this real long chain. Keep in mind, this was a chain when I was looking at it. It was real long and it was doing the windy thing in the water and then farther up the chain I couldn't see the rest of it so I reached down to grab the chain something I wouldn't do anyway if I was in a river or something but I reached down to grab the chain and then out of nowhere this thing just just jumped out of the water and started flying in the air and then I noticed that the chain I thought was a chain was the tail and it was the tail of a dragon um, I immediately took off running. This thing went up in the air, and I guess you could say it got into attack mode or whatever, but it was firing fire at me, all right? Like, not fireballs, it was just the, the, the flame, like, it was, it, it was almost like somebody had a, um, a, a, a flamethrower, and when the flame came out of the mouth of it, it was so hot, I was running, listen, I was so terrified. I ran to this building and this thing kept coming down, hitting the building, it had claws, it kept hitting the building. And when it hit the building, the building was rumbling. And you could, it almost looked like the building wanted to fall apart when you look at it. But not only was the building shaking, the ground was shaking when it hit this building. It got real quiet. I found this 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 uh this door and I opened up this door and it was like a, a storage room. So I'm hiding in this storage room, and then all I could think in my mind was, I'm going to stay in here until this thing is gone, and I'm going to figure out a way to get out of here. But it started ripping the, it, the claws. The claws went through the building and was just ripping off pieces of the building. And this thing came down, and it was the, it kept putting the flame down, and it would, hit, it would get close to the body. Maybe I thought it was hitting me, but it wasn't. But it got so close to me, it was hot. Like, I could feel the heat, y'all. Literally, like, I felt the heat. It was like, oh, I got it. Look, there was nothing I could do once the roof came off. And then when the roof came off and it threw the flame down again. Now, keep in mind, it didn't throw flame when it was close to me. It only did it when it was back up in the air. And it would throw down this long flamethrower kind of flame. But it was hot. It was red. It was like a, it's just, it was, look, it was, it was, it was scary. And when a flame came down, I could feel it burning my skin. And all of a sudden, I jumped off the bed and woke up. But that was the dragon dream. It was pretty terrifying. Um, so, Holly, I just thought I'd share that dream with you. And I got a lot of um, dreams to tell you about the realms that I've been in and the things that went on in some of these dreams. 